as, as I kind of travel around the world and, and, and uh, open to the world, all sorts of things go, oh, that, that kind of resonates. So on, on this first page, I've written political horror ballad, which is, I think, how the Thrupney Opera was described. And I think that's a good way of describing the dead dog in our suitcase. It is a kind of political horror ballad. This is local artist Swifty, Dark Times. And, and that, that happened very early looking at that. That was suddenly relevant. And I think um, 18 months on, that's going to find its way into the show. Anywhere I find these images looking, you know, looking through books at the Tate or um, Meltdown, Environmental Apocalypse, um, and somebody crashing through the roof, which fed into the idea of fed into the idea of design. But this this picture kind of sums it up. There's kind of the vaporisation of McKeith. This is a little bit of a throwback from when we did Don John and we worked with teenage mums in Redruth and a series of workshops and kind of their experiences definitely informed that show. And I think with Don John, it's similar with McKeith, there's this womanizer that is this rogue that we're all supposed to love. and. Uh, and we've worked quite hard on that character but we've also thought he shouldn't be able to womanize like this and get away scot-free so we've got a chorus of babies in dead dog who actually are smoking swearing thieving babies who sing a song that's most unpleasant um, this this sort of picture made me realize okay there's lots of stuff in in prison but um, I'll, I'll use Malcolm Rippeth, the lighting designer, to define space. I don't want the space cluttered. Uh, there's Josephine Baker, Nan Gold in the Devil's Playground. Yeah, covers that sort of Second World War fascist, frightening time. Um, Punch and Judy. Uh, it, have to read an account of Punch and Judy and you think that was absolutely about at the same time as as the Beggar's Opera. Mr Punch is like McKeith, he's, he's, he has a mistress called Pretty Polo, Polly, he sings songs from, from the Beggar's Opera and then I found a, a graphic novel, uh, happened to see it on the shelf, Mr Punch and there's a brilliant line which is a line of punches which is hooray hooray the devil is dead and now everybody is free to do whatever they wish which is kind of what the piece is about.